This is Dr. Karamanukin from the Buffalo Niagara Vein Treatment Centers talking about thrombophilia and relative risk of deep vein thrombosis and venous thromboembolism. Different thrombophilic disorders increase the relative risk of developing venous thrombosis or venous clots. Thrombophilia has the propensity to form blood clotting, both arterial and venous. The following relative risk is for venous thrombosis. In the normal state, the relative risk score is 1. The use of oral contraceptives increases the relative risk of venous blood clotting 4 times, or a relative risk of 4. The heterozygous factor 5 Leiden mutation, meaning that you have one mutation from one parent, increases the relative risk of venous thrombosis by 5 to 7 times. The addition of the heterozygous factor 5 Leiden mutation to oral contraceptive use increases the relative risk to 30. This is a very common question that's asked by women who are on oral contraceptives and women who have a factor 5 Leiden mutation who want to be on oral contraceptives. The homozygous factor 5 Leiden mutation, meaning that having two gene mutations, one from each parent, increases the relative risk of developing venous thromboembolism to 80. This means that patients with the homozygous factor 5 Leiden mutations have 80 times increased risk of developing venous thrombosis and thromboembolism, or venous blood clots that travel to other organs. The relative risk for having homozygous factor 5 Leiden mutation status and the use of oral contraceptive pills increases this risk to 100 times above normal, or a relative risk of 100. I do not recommend that women that have a homozygous factor 5 Leiden mutations take oral contraceptives. The heterozygous prothrombin gene mutation has a relative risk of 3 for venous thrombosis. The homozygous prothrombin gene mutation, which is two genes, also increases the risk of having arterial thrombosis or clotting in the arterial system. The addition of oral contraceptive pills to the heterozygous prothrombin gene mutation has a relative risk of 16 for venous blood clotting. The relative risk of having venous thrombosis in patients with a heterozygous gene mutation for protein C deficiency is 7. This means that it increases the risk 7 times. The homozygous protein C deficiency with two genes may be incompatible with life with severe thromboembolic events noted at birth or in the neonatal period. These fetuses usually result in spontaneous abortions. The heterozygous protein S deficiency has a relative risk of 6 for venous thrombosis and venous thromboembolism. The heterozygous antithrombin 3 deficiency has a relative risk of 5 for venous thromboembolism and the homozygous status for antithrombin 3 deficiency is most likely to be lethal for the fetus. Hyperhomocysteinia has a relative risk of 3 for venous thromboembolism and combined Hyperhomocysteinemia and factor V Leiden mutation increases this risk to 20 for venous thromboembolism. This is Dr. Karamanukian of the Vein Treatment Centers of Buffalo, Niagara. For more information about relative risk of increased venous thromboembolism in patients with thrombophilic disorders, contact your hematologist or make a consultation to see me at the Vein Treatment Centers with offices in Williamsville, New York and Clarence, New York. To set an appointment, contact us via www.veinsveinsveins.com or call 716-839-3638. This is Dr. Karamanukin of www.veinsveinsveins.com.